So this video is fit for those beginners that haven't tried Facebook ads yet. So you will learn how you can create an ads using the ad center in Facebook. And you will also learn how you can how you can set up your audiences into your Facebook. What are the basic of ad center and how you can set up your goal as well. So again, this is a basic get go tutorial for um, beginners who haven't tried Facebook yet. But I also have tutorial. I have an upcoming tutorial for the kind of intermediate um, level for Facebook things because so, we will use a Facebook business manager on, on my other video if you're still starting Facebook ads I would really suggest that at least you know the basic and one of the basic is the ad center so without further ado if you are interested let's begin one two three there is two ways to um, create a custom audiences so the first option is using the ad center that is the basic way of running an ads and then the other way is using the Facebook business manager so I will not um, cover the Facebook business manager thing um, I will um, create a separate version of that so um, just stay tuned on my next video because I'm going to release that one but for now, we will start on the basic, which is um, work, um, familiarizing the ad center, okay? So in order for you to create a custom audience is first, um, let's select your fan page. For example, this fan page. So this fan page is my nephew's fan page and I'm helping her to um, promote her fan pages okay because she wants to do business so yeah it's just so overwhelming to hear that that um, from a very young age she loves doing business so anyway so go to the ad center okay this ad center thing is the um, easiest way for you to start running an ad as you can see in here like we have we run a post engagement thing because we don't have enough followers yet but like we already have a good stats in terms of um you know cost per result yeah our cost per result is only 23 pesos or 0.23 cents that would be around um if we convert that into usd it's 0.0047 us dollars for every engagement okay but i'm gonna teach that later on my next um video for now let's just start working on creating an audience into your ad center so how you can create that first is let's just start like click the create ads okay and then you select a goal make sure you select a goal by the way instead of using the automated version like automated ads you need to select a specific goal so you can really measure like how effective your ads is okay so let's say for example this goal is I want to increase my Facebook fan pages okay so by the way we will not activate this fan page this ads because this video is more into creating custom audiences if you want me to create a tutorial on that um, leave a comment down below so I can create a different version for creating an ads okay so now how we can create a custom audience okay as you can see here there is a section called audience okay and then you need to select this pencil icon okay and to select there let's just skip that for now I'll just explain this one thing in here so let's say for example your business is it's a local shop or it's a restaurant there is an options in here as well where you can um just set the audience onto like specific ratios or miles so let's say that one so this kind of audience thing is perfect for just um it's just perfect for small business or for local businesses okay so if you, you're not really into, you don't need to um, detail target your audiences, you can start with people in your local area if your business or if your fan page is a local business. Okay, what if you are running an e-commerce website, okay? So it's better to choose this one, like people you choose to targeting, you select this one instead of this, and then you click this pencil icon. And then you can come up with like 
there is a gender in here, the age, the location, and the detailed targeting options. This part is very important. I'm going to show you like what what's the purpose in this part later. So let's say for example, um, you will run an ad about giveaway. So let's say like our fun page in order to win um, worth of a hundred dollars shopping free and then they just need to like this fun page they need to share this thing so you have a mechanics or something so and let's say your products is just more into dresses or fashion dresses so instead of instead of targeting the the, the both the gender like women and men um, it's good to specify it if you have really like a, a you are really specific with your audience if it is a female or a male and then you can come up like the age range so let's say your all of your dresses are just for gen z then you need to adjust that age okay so let's say 28 mm -hmm. and then for the location um it's this is still depends on how your how how broad your services is or let's say you cater nationwide or you cater just a local in, in just a local area so for now we just want to cater the local area so i just can let's just come up with um that area so we live in in davao so this is the south part in philippines so you can come up with that and if you also want to be really specific you can also come up with by street or let's say so you can also come up with like that so the more detailed you are the the lower reach oh the lower reach facebook will get so as you can see here like potential reach is only 1000 people and um this is advantages and disadvantages as well the advantages of this is you are lowering your budget but if you are too specific to facebook will be having hard time to reach your audience so as much as possible you can if you want to target by street you need to come up with different street like or like that or just click this pin and then drag which part you want the your you want the audience so like say let's say for example you want them to target in this at least eight miles in your um in your business so that's how it works for the local targeting and then this detailed targeting as well is um very important especially for b2b business or even for the b2c actually so there are diff there are three ways to target your um your audience the first one is the interest and the other one is the behavior and the third one is the demographic so let's say interest so let's say your ads is as i said it's a giveaway so it's better to target those people who like giveaways like ripsticks or something like that and then you can also come up with like the behavior so let's say i just want to target people that are using android devices just for example facebook and then access and then mobile or let's say for example you just want to target people that want okay hold on for that i'm sorry about that so detail targeting facebook access and then mobile oops facebook access and then let's say or let's say you want to access people um only um audience that are connected to the wi-fi because sometimes if it is data especially here in philippines um our internet connection is a bit low and let's say i just don't want to target those people that are using data because 
they might have problems seeing my photos or my video ads so you can also come up with that behavior and for the other thing as well um, interest again we have removed that so let's put it back sweepstakes and then I can come up with giveaways and then for the demographic so let's say you want to target people that want to be um, I just want to target senior high school or high school graduates or something like that so that is the demographic now aside from that I think is there options? I believe there is an options for us to. Okay, so in this part, this is like this is only the options you can set up. You can only set up the gender, the age, the location, and the detailed targeting. Now, if you use the Facebook Business Manager, you have an option to target the or to exclude someone so let's say you want to exclude people that works on crusty crops because you want to avoid you know you want to avoid fake accounts you want to exclude people that are away currently away from their hometown because like every time let's say we have a delivery and we only cater this city so we, we want to target those people that are, we want to exclude those people away from our hometown so you can do that on the Facebook Business Manager, but in the Ad Center, it's not um, available in the Ad Center. So, but I'm gonna create a separate version for that. Okay. So once you're already okay with that, with your with your setup, like you already as is, you already point your behavior, uh, target the right behavior of your audience, the interest and the demographic, and then the age at the center, and the gender. Um, you click this save audience in here okay so that will that's how it works and then every time you can you run an ads this one will be um, visible so I'm gonna try to turn this off and let's see if that is still oh I see so you need to run your ads first okay you need to promote this ads first in order for you to save this audience and that's the disadvantage of ad center you have very limited option to set up your audiences to set up your exclusion um, and set up your detailed targeting and yeah but if for the get started if your goal is just simple like promote um, promote audiences or promote your fan page then ad center is fine but it's the Facebook business manager is the better way for you to set up your um, to set up your detailed targeting yeah for your detailed targeting I hope that makes sense guys and if you have any questions and if you want to learn more about Facebook thing make sure you comment down below so I can create different version of the Facebook um, I also have Facebook um, get go started for the Facebook business manager I'm gonna put it on the link description below or put it on the right side so check that out or i'm gonna put a playlist as well